Hi, I'm Julie Hartley, Registered Dietitian at the Fitness and Wellness Centers. And one of the questions I get asked most, is breakfast the most important meal of the day? And emphatically, yes it is, but more specifically, a breakfast that has between 18 and 25 grams of protein a day. It's this type of breakfast that really has been shown to stave off cravings, to help us feel full for the rest of the day, and really help us lose weight, but not only just to lose weight, but to keep that weight off. And if we're gonna try to put that much protein protein in a breakfast, one of the best ways I like to recommend is to include a smoothie for breakfast. So if you're looking for a high protein based smoothies, the, the main ingredient is going to be a protein powder. And when you're looking at protein powders, there's so many different ones out on the market and not all of them are good. Some of them have extra chemicals and fillers and artificial sweeteners, so we want to really try to steer away from that. But you really have two, two choices. The first one is a vegan or a vegetarian protein, and when you're looking to choose one of these, you can choose one that has maybe a pea, a rice protein, even chia or hemp seed. Any of those or in any combinations are great sources of protein. I would probably steer clear of a soy-based protein powder. Most of those are going to be genetically modified and have estrogenic effects that, um, that we don't want. Now, if you're going to choose an animal-based protein, which still has uh, enormous benefits for, for people, sometimes people do better on animals, sometimes people do better on a vegan-based protein, so it really is a personal preference. If you're going to go with an animal-based protein, really look for a grass-fed um a grass-fed protein powder and one that comes from maybe like a defatted um, beef is, is also a good idea. I happen to like the new bone broth powders that are on and making sure that it is a good quality one as well. So we, we have lots of good options. So these are two that you want to start with. Another rule of thumb is that when you're choosing protein powders, choose one that has less than five grams of sugar per serving. It's important that we check the labels, turn it around, and you look for the sugar and make sure it's less than five grams of sugar per serving. Then we'll want to come down to the ingredient list, again, to make sure there's not anything that we wouldn't recognize, nothing that we, can, we couldn't pronounce, or that would have any artificial chemicals or sweeteners like a sucralose or aspartame. So once you have your protein powder, then it's also time to add some liquid in there. So um, we've got a, lots of different choices of liquids. So you can just do plain filtered water is also great and very convenient. Or if you want to make it a little thick or creamier, you can add one of the non-dairy alternatives. In fact, if you add something like a almond milk and you're worried about calcium, you actually are gonna get more calcium from an almond milk than you are from your regular dairy. But um, almond milk is gonna be usually better digested. And so it makes our smoothie really creamy. So we've got different types of choices. I happened to find this one yesterday, a macadamia nut milk. So there's so many different varieties of non-dairy um, milks out there that you can use, so any kind of liquid would be fine. You just want to make sure you look for the unsweet label on any of those. Another great thing to add to our smoothies and really the secret weapon when it comes to fat loss is to increase fiber. Most of us are not getting near enough fiber. I really have people shoot for 50 grams of fiber a day and most Americans are getting somewhere around the 10 to 12 mark. So a smoothie, again, is another way that we can add in a lot of fiber and you can do this by maybe adding some psyllium husk in there, rice bran fiber, uh, one to two tablespoons in your smoothie and you significantly increased your fiber load and going to help you to stay full all day. Um, chia seeds is another fantastic way to not only add fiber, but we also add to the protein uh, content and also boost in the healthy omega-3 fats as well. So we talked about different types of liquid, um, but if you really want to take your smoothie to the next level, I always um, say to incorporate some, some sort of greens in there. Most of the time you're not going to taste the flavor. You will notice a change in the colors, but this is going to bump up your nutrition tremendously and help you to get more vitamins and minerals in addition to the the protein that you're gonna get as well. Other favorite add-ins of mine, avocados, another great source of healthy fats. And again, you won't taste the flavor. It's not gonna taste like an avocado. It uh, Avocado blends very well in a smoothie and just gives it a great creamy texture. But again, you're gonna have those healthy fats, protein, and even fiber in that avocado that's gonna help you stay full and satisfied the rest of the day. And then just some other additional ones, um, any kinds of nuts that you might like 
have walnuts loaded with healthy fats and fiber. And if you don't have nuts around, most everybody has um, peanut butter. So you wanna make sure, again, it's a natural peanut butter, one that doesn't have um, any added sugars or any added hydrogen, hydrogenated oils. Um, or you can even go a little specialized and get cashew butter or almond butter, anything that you like. But as long as it includes some of the, the healthy things like the healthy protein powder, a good liquid, it's gonna taste good, it's gonna fill you up, and you're gonna um, reap the benefits of starting your day off right. If you enjoyed these tips and wanna learn more about wellness and nutrition, come join us at one of our wellness seminars. Um, you can find us on wkfitness.com and pick up a, and find the schedule there or pick up one at any of the front desk. Until I see you at a seminar, live well.